Love is love. Agree or disagree? Uh, agree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Completely agree. So if a brother and a sister want to be intimate and love each other, is that okay? Um, not to me. People need to deal with that on their own. No, it's not okay. Oh, why? Why? Because that's incest. But I thought love is love. I called it. Really? <laughs> I called for this. No way how. Tell me more. I just, I needed it. Street, street hour. You have a sign that says Jesus is the son of God. Tell us more about that. Um, you know, God gave his son that we need to believe in him, uh, repent. Because nobody's perfect. We're all, we're all in sin. And by Except Jesus or including Jesus? No, uh, Jesus is, has no sin. Okay. But uh, he, they called him good, but he said, I'm not good, so. Who did he say good was? If he said he's not good, who did he say good was? God. You asked, you said, you know, when Jesus was asked, was he good, he sent the glory to, to God, right, right? right? Is that right, correct? Right. So why is it that we don't follow his footsteps and send the glory only to God? Why would we include him as well? Because uh, he preached um, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. So True. Whoever honors the son honors the father. Okay. So if we honor the son, we honor the father automatically because okay. they are one. Okay. So, so you're saying the son and the father are one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're the same? They're one. They're one. So they're if, different though. They're different. One's called they're one. son, one's called father. But you said they're one. So are they one or are they different? They're different, but they are one. I mean, that's how I explain. Okay, okay. That's fine, John. But we, you see, my viewers are not as intelligent as you are because that confuses us, okay? If you're saying they're different, but they're one, you got to explain that a little bit. Well, I mean, the scriptures say, you know, one, there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? Sure. So, but these three are one. That's okay. So, I mean, if you're going to say that that doesn't make sense, you have to go to God with that. I don't know. No, no, I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. I mean, it's because if, if you said that Jesus claimed in the Bible that, you know, why you call me good, God only, fa only right, Father right. is good, right? So he's already making a distinguishing between him and the Father and saying that this being, this entity is larger, is better than me, right? right so how can we say that they are one? He's saying that he is good. He, okay. he's, he says that to humble himself. So if Jesus is humbling himself by doing that, why? Why are you giving him more praise than he deserves if he's humbling himself? Why don't we follow the footsteps of Jesus and praise the Father who he's saying is greater than him? Because the Father said praise the Son. What? He said Father honor said, the Son. Yeah. And the Son is saying honor the Father. Yeah. So who do we listen to? Listen to the Father. So, so wait, so you listen to the Father who's saying I mean, honor I'm the Son. I'm debate. No, no, I'm, I'm, not not I'm trying to understand. You know, I don't know. I can't explain it. Whoever receives you and is baptized will be saved. Whoever doesn't, doesn't will be damned. So, so if a child dies and they're not baptized, do they go to heaven? I'm not sure. You know, that's whoever doesn't receive Christ is not going to go to heaven. So, yeah, babies can go to hell. Yeah. Babies can go to hell. Yeah. Wow, that's a, that's a very big claim. Any, anybody can go to hell. Anybody a baby could go to hell. They can go to heaven, too. So a baby could go to hell. Are you saying God had a son? Yes. So are sons better than daughters? Uh, he doesn't. It has to be. If God chose sons over daughters, that means sons are better than daughters. Agree or disagree? No, he doesn't have a daughter. Yes, he does. So does that mean sons are better than daughters? What, what the name of... Men are better than women? Huh? Are men better than women? If God is a man, that means men are better than women. Actually, no. Why would God choose a son over a daughter? He can control. It's happening. But if it's God, he should be in control of everything. I noticed that you have some crystals over here. Maybe you want to take a look oh, at this. You peeped it? You peeped it? I did know like some crystals. That? Tell me more about the crystals. Now, my responsibility here on Earth and my actual purpose is to assist those in their own activation. That's beautiful. Sometimes when you get these crystals, you have to activate them in like water, soak yeah. them, salt. Tell yeah. me more about that. Yes. Um, I charge them in the moon. Okay. And um, I just talk to them. And what about the moon water? Do you ever drink the moon water? The moon water. She drinks the moon water, guys. Mashallah. Nina, I want to ask you this. How can something that needs help help you? If these stones have energy, wouldn't it make more sense to call out to the one who made those stones, which would be Allah? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, right? And Allah, do you know, you've heard the same Allah before? Yes. You know what, Nina? You're asking and desiring with the intention for a higher being, a higher power, and you're going for the best, right? You want the highest energy and the best energy isn't that correct? correct and Allah is the owner of all things Allah is the one who's written our story for us to be together tonight
you, see? I can't hug you, I can't touch you. Now let me tell you why, let me tell you why, let me tell you why. And let me tell you why the original, because it's about intention, right? Men and women in Islam, we don't touch. Okay, that's the reason, it's out of respect. So one thing I wanna leave you on and, 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 and go upon this as well too, uh, Nita, is that when, you, when I said to call out to Allah, it is because He is the one who owns the energy. So even if there is some power in these crystals, yeah. it is He who gave it those powers. Do you understand? Correct. So we only call out to Him and not Him through things. Love is love. Agree or disagree? I agree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Completely agree. Okay, tell me more about your definition of that. What do you mean by that? It means that everyone should be able to love whomever they want and be free to do that and live their lives. You can love anyone. Doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that's important. Whatever makes you happy to love go right ahead with it. Wow, that's such a blessed message. That's such a kind message. So Daisy, let me ask you this. If a brother and sister want to be together intimately and love each other, is that okay? Um, depends who you ask. Platonic intimate, right? Um, I mean, intimate, they want to be together. So love could be in a way where it's okay, brother and sister too. I love my brother. Oh yes. And, but but if, what if you really love your brother? I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, the I, next level love, sir. Yeah. What about that? I, I don't love him like that. No, but what if someone did? Not you, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, your hairline's too nice for that. Okay. <laughs> so tell me this. What? What about that? Love is love. So would that be okay? Um, not to me. Not to me. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I feel like it's a personal choice, really. People need to deal with that on their own. I mean, it's kind of a hard question. You're putting me on the spot, obviously. It but is. it's not my place to judge anyone on what their lifestyle is. So I think it's illegal. So is it? that to worry about. That's true. That's true. So what's legal or illegal is what's supposed to stop no, no, us from. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Because Good. I don't necessarily agree with what's exactly. legal and what's not legal. There we go, right? So a brother and a sister being together sounds kind of strange. And though you might not want to judge, the truth is that we know certain things are strange. Right. No, it's not okay. Oh, why? Why? Because that's incest. But I thought love is love. Right, but everything has boundaries. Ah, so even though you're saying love is love, you're saying love has boundaries. Tell me more about what those boundaries should be. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with them, but if they would be procreating, there would be an issue because of what you would pro procreate. So you're saying that as long as they wear protection or she's on birth control, then they can do it? No, neither. Uh, he could pull out. He doesn't have to wear anything. Okay. So it's okay to do them or it's not okay? If it makes them happy, it's none, it's none of my business. Oh, wow. Can a father be with his daughter? I would I would not agree with that, but that wouldn't be my call. I agree. Be, yeah. I agree. If an adult is with well, a... No, I, we're talking about an adult. Of course. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, if love is love, does age even matter? Yes, it does. Someone needs to be an adult in order to make those kind of decisions. So a father with an adult consensual daughter should be okay? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that I, that would be okay. But again, I don't judge other people's decisions. If the daughter wants to be with the dad, yes, that's fine. Okay. You're raping her is completely different. But it's the whole thing of procreating. Okay. And if he's not forcing his daughter into doing it, the daughter also obviously has issues. So she wants to go on ahead and do it with the father and go right ahead. But, but the okay. problem is procreating. Okay, so, but here's the thing, right? You're assuming they have issues, but if love is love, then why should it even be an issue? You used the word originally called incest. Right. Why is that called incest if love is love? I don't know. You see? Mm -hmm. There's an issue because internally we know some things are wrong. Mm -hmm. You understand? And it's okay for some things to be wrong. Our problem is that we've become so PC and we want to be so liberal to the degree that we're afraid of saying what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. There's certain things that are allowed to be wrong and it's okay to be right. wrong. Yes, it's okay right. to have boundaries. You mentioned the word boundaries. And it's not just a mess necessarily about, um, about having children and procreating. Boundaries are, let's suppose, right? If you have a stock or a very aggressive ex who's crazy about you and love has got him so wild he's gonna come after you right because his love doesn't have any boundaries so love needs to have boundaries but the question is who sets those boundaries I don't know Sometimes certain things are hard for us to digest because on one second we're claiming that hey, love is love. You should, and you said this, we got a camera, all right? We got you, 4K. You can love anyone. 
that, you know, you should be able to love whoever you, you want. So if a brother and a brother technically, according to that definition, want to do that, technically they should be able to. But we know that love has boundaries. Would that make sense? Yes. Love does have boundaries. I think so, as yeah. everything has boundaries. Everything has boundaries. Without boundaries, things will go crazy. If you had a psycho stalker, right? Like psycho X or something like that, yeah. you probably have one. You definitely <laughs> probably had one, right? They have no boundaries. So their love, out of love, they feel like they're doing something amazing and they end up killing the person, harming the person out of love. Do you understand? So love needs to have boundaries and parameters. And that's all. That's literally what we wanted to come down to because if people don't have parameters and boundaries within their love, the question is, where would we be as a society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the one who tells us what's morally correct versus what's not correct? I can't answer that. Yeah, that's the thing, right? We need to have a guidance or something where not another human being to a human being, but we are all creation. We as Muslims believe that the creator is the one who told us what should be correct and what should not be correct. Not us, because today something is correct, tomorrow is incorrect, right? Today we're saying, uh, you know, the idea of a brother and sister kind of is uh but maybe in 35 40 years from now the incest community think that hey we want our rights too so we know that there's certain things that are correct and incorrect and it is the creator who does that who decides those boundaries individually society lawmakers yeah so in society 35 years from now the incest community say hey listen we want our rights we want the right to love our brother or sister or sister and sister and brother and brother. Yeah. If you say society determines those rights, does that mean that if they lobby and get enough votes and petition, it is legal for a brother and a brother or a sister and sister or brother and sisters to be together? By law in that scenario. Yes. Yeah. Just because something is lawful doesn't mean it is correct. I, I, I would agree with that. Makes sense, yeah. right? Now, the real question is, who's supposed to make those laws? Because if you leave it up to human beings and society, we'll make different laws each time. So there has to be a system that is not left to just us. Okay, so if the human beings aren't setting the boundaries, who is? The creator of the human beings. Okay, and who is the creator according to you? Uh, not just according to me. Okay. This is the creator of all things. Okay. It doesn't even matter what the name of this creator is. Okay. We need to first acknowledge that there is a creator. Okay. Right? Okay. And if if there, if there is a creator, this creator is the only one who has the right to tell us what's, what's right or what's wrong. That's the point. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Interesting, right? Just an interesting conversation. Yeah. Do you mind if we leave with you with a quick gift? Sure, sure. Okay, it's not a better hairline than that because I can't give you one. I don't got no hair, sir. It's gone and left me a long time ago, okay? So please, I want to leave you a quick gift. This is the Quran. This is the holy scripture for Muslims as well too, okay? Nita, this is a Quran. Are you familiar with the Quran? I asked for this. I really? It. Really? I called it. Tell me more. I called it. Really? I called it. Really? <laughs> I called for this. No way how. Tell me more. I just, I needed it. Really? Yeah. It SubhanAllah. And it is Allah who listens to the needs of His servants. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you, sister, as well. Listen, can we give her a, a Quran as well, too, please? Thank you. One for you, sister. And you guys have a beautiful and blessed night. All right, take care. May Allah bless you and continue to guide you as well. And it was amazing talking to you. This was absolutely the greatest gift today. No problem. Thank you so much. And happy birthday. My birthday. Appreciate you. No problem. Take care, Anita. Bye-bye.